Dr. Drew had Breitbart editor Ben Shapiro on his show to discuss Caitlyn Jenner and trans issues. He also had on Inside Edition transgender reporter Zoe Turr. And they had a funny back and forth. Zoe, it, it, you, in that piece you're saying it wasn't a transgender going at their own pace. It was a product rollout. What are the liabilities to the human being, Caitlyn Jenner, as a result of being a part of this product roll, rollout? Well, you can't sustain that type of energy. You cannot sustain that type of fame. Things shift. You have to reinvent yourself. But I think at some point this comes crashing down because along with all this, you know, adulation and, and hype, eventually you, you find out that you, you're really in an existential crisis because what's my life really going to be like? Will it be? You have to deal with people like this, the hatred, the people that, you know, that, that come out against you and, no and say... We're calling you delusional. I wasn't kidding. Hatred yeah, that's hatred. Okay. This is just somebody that's... that's I don't careful. hate you. I have yes, sympathy of course. for you. I feel terrible for you. No, no, you do hate. You're consumed with hatred. That is who really? you are. You're a little you know man. Me? You're a little man. Let's yeah, not, actually, I do. Let's stick to the topic. Let's, let's, not, let's not these first. But, I mean, facts. that's okay. He can be whatever he wants. But the point is... Right. That's what this is all about, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. And, but there's ramifications for hate speech. But the point is that... ramifications? Let me finish. Go ahead. Uh, finish, sorry. Little boy. Zoe. Okay. Zoe. So, uh, let's, so, let's I'm sorry. It's all, everybody. Sorry. Come on. Buttons are being pushed. Go ahead. I feel wrong for enjoying that as much as I did, but I enjoyed that. Uh, calm down, little boy. Because let's face it, Ben Shapiro does look like a little boy. He's always looked like a little child. He's like 32 years old or some shit. I don't really know how old he is, I'm just guessing. But he's always looked really, really little. So I did find that funny. But look, on the, on the broader question, it is debatable whether or not Caitlyn Jenner should have gotten that award. I don't think it's an open and shut case. There were plenty of other people with incredible stories who also could have gotten the award. With that being said, I'm not like anti- her getting the award. I think it's fine that she got the award. So there is a debate that's legitimate to be had on that issue, okay? It's not automatic bigotry if somebody opposes her getting the award. But it's funny and true, it happens to be true, that Ben Shapiro indeed is a bigot. <laughs> Again, the over overarching question, it is a debatable issue whether or not she should have gotten the award. There's two sides to that, and it's fine to discuss it. But is Ben Shapiro a bigot? Absolutely, he's a noted bigot. And you even heard a little bit of it there, the condescending, I'm looking down on you point of like, no, I don't hate you. Sure you don't. I, I have sympathy for you. I feel terrible for you. Nothing to feel terrible about, okay? This is just a person who lives a different way. They're born in a male body, has a female brain. Or born as a female, has a male brain. It, what makes sense is accepting it and saying, oh, I get it. Some people are different from me. Just because uh, I've view the world through a certain set of eyes doesn't mean that that is right by definition because it's who I am and how I do it. Okay, and Ben Shapiro has never understood that. Uh, it's not just transgender people he's against. He's against gay people, he's against liberals, he's against anybody, Muslims, he's against anybody who's not exactly like him. So there is a legitimate debate about whether or not Caitlyn Jenner should have gotten the award, but there's not a debate as to whether or not Ben Shapiro is a bigot. He's a well-known bigot, and he does hate.